subtraction, tens and units. Counting forward is not always quick. When we add big numbers, we can add the tens and units separately. Look at this problem. 25 minus 12. Counting forward from 12 to 25 is a lot of counting. Let's find a faster way to do it now. We will split both the numbers into tens and units. So for 25, we have 2 tens and 5 units. For 12, we have 1 ten and 2 units. We subtract the units. And then we subtract the tens. The number that we have is 1 ten and 3 units, which is 13. That is the answer. So 25 minus 12 is equal to 13. Okay. Let's look at this problem. 36 minus 21. We split both the numbers into tens and units. So for 36, we have 3 tens and 6 units. For 21, we have 2 tens and 1 unit. We subtract the units and then we subtract the tens. The number that we have is 1 ten and 5 units, which is 15. That is the answer. So 36 minus 21 is equal to 15. Let's take a look at another problem. 44 minus 33. We split both the numbers into tens and units. So for 44, we have 4 tens and 4 units. For 33, we have 3 tens and 3 units. We subtract the units and then we subtract the tens. The number that we have is 1 ten and 1 unit, which is 11. That is the answer. So 44 minus 33 is equal to 11. How about 24 minus 24? We split both the numbers into tens and units. So for 24, we have 2 tens and 4 units. And for the other number 24, we have 2 tens and 4 units. We subtract the units and then we subtract the tens. The number that we have is 0 tens and 0 units, which is 0. That is the answer. So 24 minus 24 is equal to 0. How about 74 minus 10? Let's try and subtract numbers without using pictures and cancelling them out. Let's try 27 minus 2. We start from the left and then keep going to the right. First, we subtract numbers in the units place. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. 
then we subtract numbers in the tens place. 2 minus nothing is equal to 2. So that is our final answer. 27 minus 2 is equal to 25. Let's try another problem. 39 minus 8. We start from the left and then keep going to the right. First we subtract numbers in the units place. 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. Then we subtract numbers in the tens place. 3 minus nothing is equal to 3. So that is our final answer. 39 minus 8 is equal to 31. How about trying another problem? 19 minus 5. We start from the left and then keep going to the right. First we subtract numbers in the units place. 9 minus 5 is 4. Then we subtract numbers in the tens place. 1 minus nothing is 1. So that is our final answer. 19 minus 5 is equal to 14. Let's try another subtraction. 87 minus 15. We start from the left and then keep going to the right. First we subtract numbers in the units place. 7 minus 5 is 2. Then we subtract numbers in the tens place. 8 minus 1 is 7. So that is our final answer. 87 minus 15 is equal to 72. Now you can do this subtraction quickly and directly. Just follow the same method. 65 minus 34. Try one more. 87 minus 25. If the problem is given to you like this, write it vertically and then subtract and get the answer. If the problem is given to you like this, write it vertically and then subtract and get the answer. If the problem is given to you like this, write it vertically and then subtract and get the answer. Did you understand how to subtract numbers by writing them as tens and units? Yes? Great!